Hey everyone, I'm Brandon Lee, and today we're talking about the new 8K 360 action camera, the Insta360 X4. A lot of you have been asking about the 8K resolution, so I'm going to run through what makes the X4 such a game changer for 360 capture. Getting quality shots from a 360 camera doesn't require any technical knowledge. All you have to do is press the shutter, as you would with any other camera. The difference with the 360 camera, like the X4, is that it has two wide-angle fisheye lenses on each side that shoot in all directions at once, giving you a 360-degree image. So once the two images are captured, one from each lens, they need to be stitched together. This basically means lining up the images to create a single 360 degree image with a seamless blend where they overlap. One of the coolest effects with the 360 camera is actually one of the simplest. You can make your selfie stick instantly disappear. The invisible selfie stick is so fun to use and it gets creative angles, fake drone shots, and third person views. So how does it work? Well, actually, you don't have to do anything other than just walk around with it. The reason it's invisible comes down to that stitching algorithm. The two lenses actually cover around 400 degrees between them. When stitched together, that gives us one 360 degree image with around 40 degrees of overlap. So the selfie stick falls directly between that overlap so that when it's all stitched together, the selfie stick is erased automatically. You can basically guarantee your 360 shots will always look good because the X4 has gimbal-like stabilization built in. You'll get much better stabilization with the X4 compared to a wide-angle camera because there's more data from the 360 footage. This means it's better at supporting the stabilization algorithm, giving you smoother footage. One of the best things about 360 cameras actually happens after the recording. Using the Insta360 app or Studio, the desktop software, you can reframe your shots later. Basically, you can pan around that 360 degree image and choose whatever you want the final rectangular image to show. So that means you don't even need to aim the camera at the time. You can just focus on the moment and find your best shots after. Imagine a sphere with the picture stretched out across it. You can pick out any square on the surface of that sphere and use that for your end result. This opens up a whole world of creative editing possibilities as you literally have a whole 360 degree image to choose from and one video can be edited in so many different ways. You might even notice something interesting in your footage that you missed at the time and just change the perspective to focus on that. You can also show multiple perspectives in one video by adding keyframes or using the reframing tools in the app. That reframed 360 degree image can then be exported in a traditional photo or video format ready for social media. Now have 8K 360 videos that, once reframed, maintain around a 4K resolution to easily blend into footage from other cameras without a significant drop in quality. Thanks for watching. I really hope you learned something. Feel free to leave any questions you might have in the comments, and I'll see you next time.